Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I have another new Utah feature for you and it has to do with Kanbans and hierarchy views in the strategic planning workspace. All right, so I got to back up a little bit. What the heck is strategic planning workspace? Well, if you've seen my videos on YouTube, I'll put a link over here, actually over there. Um, Alignment Planner Workspace got renamed to Strategic Planning Workspace in the Utah release. So alarm bells, alarm bells, it's gotten renamed and now I'm in the Strategic Planning Workspace, which you can see right here. I'm logged in as Megan Burke. She's one of our demo personas and I wanna jump straight to the new feature. I'm gonna skip over a lot of details and things that have changed here because I just wanna cover this one thing. In the planning tab, for prioritization. Prioritization was already pretty cool and I don't think I featured this on my channel yet. My favorite thing to show people was the drag and drop reprioritization of things, right? So you see a ranking there, the second column, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, I can move demands or projects or other things in this space by dragging and dropping them and changing the order. Um, in this case, it's all demands. What's new in Utah is the ability to switch this from a list view to a Kanban or hierarchy. So let's take a look at Kanban, see what that looks like. You've seen a visual task board. Well, this is a visual task board in a workspace. Now they're calling it Kanban. That's the actual component. I'm gonna play around with that in a future video. But notice along the top, this is using my lanes for new, in review, prioritize. That's the state of the prioritization for these. And then we see the demands down below and they're in swim lanes. So I've got swim lanes by state status, I guess. I got green, yellow, and red um, as my status. So I can expand those, uh, collapse them. Now I'm expanding. I was collapsing earlier while I was talking. And I can change that. But what's cool with this feature is that I can actually change how that's being done. So my vertical lane right now is planning state, and my swim lane, that's the horizontal one, is by status. So let's go ahead and switch this to priority. And then I'm going to change my swim lane from status to planning state. Not sure why you'd want to do it this way, but I just want to show that it's flexible. You can change this. Now I've got my new, my in review, my prioritize, and my done, and my canceled. So I could just say, hey, I want to look at just the new stuff that's come in, come in here and look at it, and now I can move that between priorities. Maybe this is moderate priority instead of high or critical priority. I can move that around like you would on a Kanban moving cards around. So that's the first part of the new feature. Second part, let's take a look at the upper right there. It's hierarchy view. Now we've seen this hierarchy view before when it comes to goals. Now we're seeing this hierarchy view with comes to prioritization. And right now it's using lenses to actually organize this. We're using the organization lens. I'll do another video on lenses because it's another new thing I got to cover. But we could look at this prioritization through goals, products, product, project portfolio, strategic investments, value stream, organization, or what you define. And by hierarchy, what they mean is it's breaking down, okay, here's the demands and projects that are part of department sales, that are part of the business unit sales, that roll up to the company Acme Corporation. So that's a new way to see that priority. And you can see there, I can do different things. Things. I can open the project or go to the workspace, uh, a classic workspace, the new workspace, even open a status report. So that's what's new. I wanted to show you this new feature for Kanban and a hierarchy view in the strategic planning workspace. You can see that titled right up there. That is the new name for the alignment planner workspace, if you didn't know that already. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in prioritizing demands and projects and other records in service now easier and more intuitively. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.